My name is Doug Nyman, and I am an energy consultant with Dandelion Geothermal. <clears throat> so I, uh, just to give you a little background on myself, I started working for Dandelion uh, about two years ago. I have a background in hospitality sales before I started uh, working for this awesome company. Um, I also, uh, my grandfather um, designed heating and cooling systems for large scale buildings in the New York metro area, including Shea Stadium and most of the old firehouses on Long Island. Uh, my dad um, designed heating and cooling systems for Ford back in the 70s. And so I somehow later on in my life ended up picking up the family torch and now I'm working in HVAC myself. Um, uh, I'm originally from Long Island, New York. I am uh, from Islip, born and raised, and now I live right outside of New Paltz <clears throat> in a little town called Clintondale on an apple orchard here. So I'm a New York native. Um, and uh, my company, Dandelion, we're based out of Mount Kisco, New York. That's our, that's our headquarters and where our main warehouse is located. So I'm going to share my screen with you here, if you folks don't mind. This is going to kind of help guide us through the process here. You all see my screen? So um, I'm going to start off by sharing Dandelion's story with you very briefly, I promise. That way you guys know who you're doing business with and um, you can feel comfortable partnering with us. Um, we're going to go through a little bit of details about how geothermal works, how a heat pump works. I want to talk a little bit about what Dandelion's process looks like if you were to become um, a potential customer of ours. And then um, uh, I'll open up the floor for uh, questions and answers. <clears throat> as Stephen mentioned earlier, when we're going through, please feel free to throw some questions in the chat as it comes up. Um, and we'll, you know, Stephen will read those out for us and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. We do try to keep them sort of high level. We don't want to get too much into the details about like, hey, can you fit on my 10 foot wide driveway and, and can you fit a heat pump in my 1500 square foot house? What I'll tell you is if you're that interested in getting that granular, I am going to be so happy to meet with you individually. <clears throat> so we offer um, a complimentary geothermal consultation. And at the last slide that I'm going to share with you is going to have my contact information in there. And you guys can feel free to reach out to me directly. We could set up a meeting anytime. All right. So um my company, Dandelion Geothermal, we launched out of Google X in 2017. Um, for those of you who might not be familiar with Google X, uh, Google X is their self-proclaimed moonshot factory, where they've got some of the greatest minds in engineering and technology working to solve some of the world's most pressing problems. So my company's founder, her name is Kathy Hanoon. She started as a product manager at Google X. And during Kathy's time there, she learned that in the United States, buildings and homes account for almost 35% of all carbon emissions in our country. And a majority of those emissions are coming from fossil fuel burning heating systems in the residential sector. So Kathy started Dandelion because millions of homeowners in our country just don't have any other options other than to use the dirty, expensive truck delivered fuels that came with the house that they purchased. So Kathy had a vision. She was like, okay, if installing a geothermal system were simpler, more affordable, more streamlined of a process, then millions of homeowners would have access to a much better product that's way better for the environment. Geothermal technology is not new. <clears throat> Excuse me. Geothermal ground source heat pumps have been getting installed in the United States since the 1970s. It's just that the average homeowner was never given the opportunity to embrace this renewable energy due to the historically high upfront costs. So that's where Dandelion comes in. And the way that we're, um, we've launched out of the Moonshot factory. And so our Moonshot is just heating without fire, right? Um, we have over 800 homes installed to date. We have about 185 in the pipeline. And um, Dandelion Geothermal is not a product uh, as much as it's a movement. And I know that as Tesla owners, you guys can really embrace that idea. Um, and, you know, the movement is growing strong, right? We're signing up more and more homeowners every day. Our team uh, signs up about 100 homeowners a month now. And we're breaking records month over month for our company's growth. Um, in fact, we recently secured a $30 million round of investments from Bill Gates and his investment arm at Breakthrough Energy Ventures because Bill Gates believes in our mission of delivering low-cost geothermal to homeowners. And now the way that we're kind of doing this whole low-cost geothermal thing is by essentially being a one-stop shop. So Dandelion is going to provide a geothermal system designed for you as a homeowner up front, no cost, no obligation, so that when our customers eventually sign their geothermal contract, they know exactly what the scope of work is, what it's going to cost them, and how we landed on the size of the system that we landed on. 
Um, Dandelion is going to uh, provide you with some opportunities to finance these projects for $0 down, low interest rate loans. Uh, so you could pay for the project over 10 or 20 years. Um, we're also going to handle all the permitting on your behalf. So, uh, and the, whatever costs are associated with the permitting at your local municipality is all baked into your geothermal cost. And then Dandelion is going to come and we're going to drill, we're going to trench, and we're going to install your equipment for you. We're going to remove all your old equipment while we're at it, right? So if we're retrofitting a home, part of our scope of work is to get rid of those old nasty condensers outside from your old central AC. We're going to get rid of all your old air handlers. We're going to get rid of your old furnace. We're going to swap out your old thermostats with some new high-tech EcoB smart thermostats. And then once your system's up and running, Dandelion's going to be providing all the guidance and customer support that you need from an HVAC perspective, right? Um, your system comes uh, with remote monitoring capabilities, free of charge for the entire lifespan of the system. It's really awesome technology. Um, I like to tell folks, you won't call us, we'll call you if there's a performance issue with your heat pump. And in a lot of cases, we can actually remotely identify and fix the issue for you without even having to come out to your house. Now, if we do have to come out to the house, it's not a problem at all. Um, we'll just deploy a Dandelion certified HVAC tech to be there within a day to diagnose and fix any issues that you might be experiencing. Um, with that said, a Dandelion system uh, doesn't require any maintenance contracts, uh, no annual tune-ups, no annual cleanings or annual visits required from an HVAC pro at all. In fact, the only maintenance that's required on your geothermal system is for the homeowner to change the filter on their unit like two to four times a year. When it comes to actually servicing a heat pump, if you need a Dandelion HVAC Pro to come to the house, it's not a problem at all. We have warehouses dotted throughout the state of New York that cover all of our service territories, including the Albany Capital Region, Western New York, uh, the Lower Hudson Valley area, and Long Island. So folks come to Dandelion for a variety of reasons, right? But these kind of seem to be like the main I'll call them the five buckets. These are the reasons why everyone is coming to Dandelion at the end of the day. First and foremost, sustainability, right? So Dandelion customers are reducing their carbon footprint, ditching fossil fuel heat for good and switching over to a cleaner and more efficient heating and cooling system, right? From an affordability factor, we offer these $0 down installation, low interest rate loans. Then of course, the key is that you're gonna have annual operating costs that are significantly lower than a traditional HVAC system for the heating side and the cooling side. A geothermal heat pump is about 400% more efficient than anything that runs on fuel oil when it comes to heat. And of course, oil is significantly more expensive than electricity. So your heat pump's running 100% on electric, right? So in the winter, you're gonna save money because electricity is cheaper than oil and a geothermal heat pump is 400% more efficient than your old unit. In the summer, a geothermal heat pump uh, from a cooling perspective is 200% more efficient than a brand new central AC. So you're actually gonna see your electric bill in the summer when it comes to cooling cut in half. Um, health is another thing that uh, a lot of my customers are focused on these days. The air quality of your home is gonna be significantly healthier thanks to the way these geothermal systems are constantly circulating and conditioning the air through extremely powerful filters. Um, and then of course, there's the safety factor, right? No more open flames and combustion in the basement. I mean, it's crazy to think that many of us are still lighting oil on fire in our basement as if we're living in our grandparents' house, right? Um, I remember I was recently watching uh, this past holiday season, I was watching a Christmas story and there's the, whole side, um, there's the whole side plot of the old man, the kid's father, who's like fighting with his furnace. And of course that story takes place, you know, before World War II. So this is how long homeowners have been burning oil in there uh, with a furnace or a boiler, right? Um, and then last but not least, Dandelion Geothermal is going to give you an opportunity to gain some energy independence. So by simply tapping into the earth, your yard is going to be your primary source of heat for 100 years, which is how long those ground loops in your yard are going to last, four generations. Um, so let's dive in here and talk a little bit about how geothermal works. Um, how does it help reduce pollution specifically? I want to give you some facts and figures to chew on here when it comes to the sustainability factor. What does our process look like? What could you expect in the weeks and months ahead after you've had an initial consultation with Dandelion? And then of course, you know, what sort of prices are we talking about? So geothermal is simply earth powered heating and cooling, okay? I'm gonna give you a really big high level overview of how this system works. 
liquid piped underground in your yard in what we call a vertical bore closed loop system is absorbing the earth's constant temperature of 50 to 55 degrees. That 50 to 55 degrees is literally constant all year round, 365 days a year. That ground temperature is then transferred to refrigerant inside your heat pump, and it's compressed or condensed to your desired indoor temperature. So this compressed and condensed refrigerant, this is what's better known as the refrigeration cycle. That's an age old technology. It's been around for more than hundred years. It's the same technology that's used in your fridge, in your kitchen. It's the same technology that's used in your central AC unit. Then um, that temperature controlled warm or cool air is blown throughout the home. It's super simple. And the results are cleaner, healthier, more comfortable air and lower operating costs than a traditional fossil fuel burning system. So that's sort of geothermal one-on-one. When it comes to heat pumps, right? We're installing geothermal ground source heat pumps as opposed to air source heat pumps. So a heat pump is just a machine that uses the refrigeration cycle to transfer heat. They make it hot on one side and cold on the other. In the winter, you want the hot side in your house and the cold side outdoors and the opposite in the summer. So what makes a geothermal ground source heat pump is that um, what makes it special is that it's always coupled to the earth and not the outside air, right? So you've got that 55 degree temperature all year round. It's a great temperature for a geothermal system because when it's really cold outside, conventional air source heat pumps become less and less effective because they're trying to transfer heat into your house from frigid, cold, outdoor air. That's inefficient. It's expensive and it could be impossible depending on the air source heat pump that you install. There are some air source heat pumps that require you to still keep your furnace or your boiler, burn them out oil um, as a backup on the coldest winter nights, right? Um, so uh, the other thing is that a geothermal heat pump is using that water mixture in the ground loop as the heat transfer medium. And water transfers heat 200 times better than air because air is actually an insulator. So by coupling the geothermal heat pump with the earth, you've got the most efficient way to generate heat in the winter. And in the summer, the refrigeration cycle reverses and you've got the most efficient way to cool your house. So that's sort of like geothermal and heat pump 101. I do welcome any more specific questions about that technology when we get to the Q&A for sure. Um, so from, uh, from, a, from a sustainability standpoint, um, you have an opportunity to reduce your home's CO2 output by up to 80% each year. It's gonna be like taking three and a half cars off the road every year for 25 years. A geothermal heat pump will last 25 years and the ground loop will last a hundred years, okay? The average home in the Northeast that uses fuel oil for heat is contributing roughly 22,000 pounds of carbon a year into the atmosphere, one house. 22,000 pounds of carbon a year. So if you're currently on fuel oil and you switch over to geothermal heating, you will be personally responsible for ensuring that over 550,000 pounds of carbon are not released into the atmosphere over the lifespan of one heat pump. And now one of the beautiful things about geothermal is as a homeowner, you're making this responsible choice to stop with the fossil fuels and switch over to something cleaner, healthier, better for the environment. And those ground loops in the yard that are going to last four generations are really allowing you to take on what we call a legacy project. Your home will forever be tied to geothermal. And so you figure 550,000 pounds of carbon over the lifespan of one heat pump. If you multiply that by the four generations, now we're talking about being personally responsible for removing 2.2 million pounds of carbon from the atmosphere, right? Um, so I want to put this in a way that's going to resonate with Tesla owners, okay? If you weighed the tiny CO2 particles that are pumping out of your smokestack every year, you'd have the equivalent weight of five Teslas stacked on top of each other. That's how much weight there is in those carbon emissions, right? In order for a Tesla owner to have the same environmental impact as switching to geothermal, you'd have to buy a Tesla for yourself and 86 of your friends over the next 20 years. 
Now, I don't know who on this call has got an extra $8 million hanging around. Um, and I don't know who's feeling particularly generous these days, but geothermal is a surefire way to reduce your carbon footprint and really upgrade your quality of life to a luxury tiered HVAC system while having a profoundly positive impact on the environment for many generations to come. I think I've spent enough time on that slide. Let's move on here. Talk a little bit about the process, right? So if you reach out to me and you say, okay, Doug, I met you at the Tesla event. I want to understand if geothermal is a good fit for me. I'll set up a virtual consultation with you via Zoom. We'll go over a ton of details about your home, your property, your HVAC system. I'll determine if your home is a good fit for our system from an operations perspective. And then I'll offer you a rough quote for the project that day, right? If by the end of the consultation, you want to give some serious consideration into actually installing geothermal, then we'll invite you to take some photos of the home some exterior photos and some interior photos that are relevant to our geothermal system design. Once you've uploaded the photos, we then have a geothermal system design engineer who's gonna design the system for you. Again, all of that is done upfront, no cost, no obligation. Usually about two weeks after the consultation and the photos are uploaded, your design is complete. It's ready to review. And then I would sit down with you again. We go over your final system design, your final price, and I present you with a contract. Once you sign your geothermal contract, Dandelion will then deploy a site surveyor to your house for an in-person site survey. That person spends the day there taking hundreds of more photos, walking the path of the drill rig, doing some precise measurements. And then after the uh, site survey is done, we will then submit for the permits on your behalf. Once we have the permits in hand, we get to the fun part, we schedule your drilling. Just to give you an idea now of what our timing is looking like, most regions are going to take anywhere from three to four months from final contract signing to permits acquired, and then anywhere from three to nine months from permits acquired to installation complete. I know that that sounds like a really big window, three to nine months from permits acquired to installation complete. It has everything to do with the region that you're in, um, the timing of the project specifically, uh, which drill rig we could use to actually drill your property, et cetera. So there's a lot of sort of details in there. And uh, if we were to meet for a consultation, I'll be able to kind of share with you a little bit more of a tighter window there. Um, so that is sort of the process and what you could expect, um, you know, uh, if you were to uh, reach out and have a consultation. So from a pricing perspective, pricing is tailored to each home and pricing is affected specifically by each region and specifically by which electric provider you use, right? So Long Island PSE&G has rebates available for geothermal. So does NYSEG, so does Con Ed, so does Central Hudson, right? So they're all offering rebates. Some are a little bit different than others, right? Some are a little bit more generous than others. Part of the whole uh, consultation process is to quote you a price and walk you through what incentives are available to you based on your uh, utility provider. With that said, the state of New York recently rolled out a $5,000 New York state tax credit for all geothermal projects. So you're all going to qualify for that. You'll get that $5,000 back from the government the year after geothermal is installed. So if we installed your system in 2023, then you'd be getting that $5,000 tax credit back in 2024 when you file your taxes. Right now, the federal government is currently offering uh, in 2022, they have a 26% investment tax credit. 26% of your out-of-pocket costs are getting paid back to you by the federal government if you're installed in 2022. In 2023, that number is going down to 22%. So any jobs that get installed in 2022, in 2023, they are going to get a 22% tax credit back in 2024 when they file their taxes, Okay. And in 2024, there is no more investment tax credit left, all right? So based on Dandelion's current timelines and the trajectory of the tax credits going away in 2024, if you are genuinely interested in pursuing geothermal as a project and getting the government to pay a little bit of that project back to you, which you absolutely should take advantage of that, you're gonna wanna move pretty quickly to uh, set up a consultation in the, in the coming weeks. So um, that is sort of my presentation, right? I'm going to keep my screen up here for just a moment so that you could take down my email address, you could take down my phone number. That's my cell. You could call me, text me anytime. And this little scan me box here, if you scan it, it'll actually bring you to 
Dandelion's website, which will qualify you a little bit more, ask you a bunch of questions about your home. And then someone from my marketing team will reach out to set up a consultation for you. And I'll end up being the person that you meet with. Um, since we all met today, as Tesla owners, as, mem as members of this club, you're all going to get a $500 discount off of your price um, from day one. So uh, I would prefer if you email me, call me, text me directly. But if you do go through our marketing channels, make sure to mention my name, let them know that you're a part of the Tesla Owners Club so that we could uh, be sure to get you your um, $500 discount off your system. So uh, I'm gonna open up the floor now for any questions that you guys might have. And uh, Doug, I just wanna add one thing too. That's what uh, Doug just shared at the end. That is not a salesy. If you buy today, you get $500 off. Uh, this is something that we worked out with Dandelion a few months ago or so. Um, so this is literally specifically for club members, that 500 off, that is a, like an actual real incentive of being a, a member. So that's, uh, it's, it's, I actually almost forgot about that. So, so thanks for reminding me, Doug. Um, but yeah, as Doug said too, uh, you can continue to put any questions into the chat, or if you'd prefer, you can use the raise hand icon, and then I'll call on you when I see those pop up. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and go through. And by the way, it looks like we have folks from all around New York in the beginning when we asked, uh, literally from, from all around the state. So very cool. All right. Question from John. Any solutions for hot water radiator heating systems? So that's a good question, John. Right now, Dandelion does not install what's called water-to-water -water, um, geothermal ground source heat pumps. So our systems do not provide radiant heat. Um, we only install water to air geothermal heat pumps. So for a home that might currently have um, baseboard heat radiators, like you don't have ductwork for forced air, we do have some solutions for you. One of them is to potentially install ductwork in your attic, in your basement, if they're unfinished, right? For the first floor, second floor duct system. We also offer in, um, in most regions in New York right now, we offer what's called a VRF, which is basically a geothermal ductless mini split. Um, so you've got a compressor condenser in the basement, and it's tied to some wall-mounted units throughout the house um, that are permanently affixed, so it doesn't require ductwork, but you can get geothermal heating and cooling in a house that currently has radiators. So, Doug, I'm going to be a little selfish here and ask a question, but it's beneficial to everyone. Yeah, what's um, up? If, if you can, I remember, I think I talked about this with Danae, um, the, the uh, comparison between a brand new HVAC slash heating system and one that is uh, geothermal, just price-wise, what, what you're looking at. Because from what I remember, what he said, it's uh, it's pretty pretty even, and just on installation cost. Yeah. So you're at, you're wondering what's the price difference between standard HVAC and a geothermal system? Correct. So with with geothermal, you're going to typically see a more expensive upfront cost, and then you're going to see some operational cost savings, right? Um, the reason why you're seeing a more expensive upfront cost is because we're retrofitting. So we're drilling, we're trenching, we're removing the equipment, right? So I would say that it depends on the region, depends on the size of the house. But generally speaking, if you were to upgrade one furnace and one central AC unit, that would cost you roughly eighteen dollars to $20,000. And that same house could come in at around twenty-five dollars to $35,000 for geothermal. So a lot of times what we see is the net equipment expense is offset by the operational cost savings. Operational cost savings specifically uh, vary depending on your home, how much you spend in either oil, propane, or natural gas, and how much you pay per kilowatt hour for geothermal, uh, for electricity. I think as, as Tesla owners, that's something we all can connect with because our cars, EVs are a little bit more expensive up front, but then especially now with the price of gas, <laughs> we are very thankful. Um, I'll go through two more from the chat and then it looks like we have a question from Kathy. Uh, we live in Yonkers, this is from Libby. We live in Yonkers on a quarry. Is there a possibility to use geothermal in our situation? Yeah, so I don't think that the quarry would be um, a challenge. I, I believe that we are installing in some zip codes in Yonkers. So um, I could, I could follow up with Stephen maybe and send you a list of zip codes that we're, that we're servicing in Yonkers specifically to see if it's a match. Is that okay, Stephen? Is that something that you could send out to the attendees or something yeah. like that? But the quarry itself is not gonna be a challenge for us now. So can you talk about the timing um, on installation versus how it's different or the same with new construction? Yep. Question so, from Stephen Weber. Yeah, that's a good question. 
So we, we uh, work with new construction projects all the time, right? Um, the geothermal installation, once we're there on property, it's a three-stage system installation process. Stage one is drilling and installing the ground loops. Stage two is connecting the ground loops to the home via a header pipe in a trench. And then stage three is the interior install. That three-stage system installation process is typically about one week outside total for drilling trenching and about one week inside total for the interior install. Those three stages could potentially be spread out over about a month and a half to two months, depending on the availability of each crew. Each phase, when they're there on property, they're there for you know however many days in a row till the job is done, and then there could be a break. So the trench, so the drilling tr drilling crew could arrive and they'll be there for three to five days, and then there could be a break. Then the trenching crew will arrive; they'll be there for three to five days in a row, then a break, then the interior install crew. When it comes to new construction, it's all about the timing, right? And so we love to get involved with new construction projects as early on in the process as possible. And one of the requirements for us to complete a geothermal system design for a new construction project is to have a copy of the site plan that shows the footprint of the house and where all the underground utilities are gonna be, where the septic tank is at, where the well is at, et cetera. And because we design our system with that site plan in mind, in a perfect world, we could drill and install the ground loops before the foundation is even poured. We won't do the trenching until after the foundation is in place. And then we can't do the interior install until the ductwork is roughed in. But we do have a whole account management team. After you go through sales, you work directly with an account manager and we'll have one point of contact for your project. And so if you're working on a new construction project, we work really closely as a company with the GC or the builder on the project, with your plumber, with your electrician, with any sort of subcontractors that might be involved on your end to ensure that everybody's on the same page and feeling good about your HVAC. Um, one more just follow up from Libby, and I think you, you did answer this, but you do work in Yonkers, correct? Yeah, but not all the zip codes. So that's something that I would have to send out to you. I don't, I don't know offhand, um, but Stephen, I'll send you a list of the zip codes in Yonkers. Great, great. All right, uh, Kathy, if you want to go ahead and unmute and ask your question. Hey, yeah, thank you. Uh, what about Western Massachusetts? I'm building a house, right? I'm about to build a house. It's good timing. I would really like to look into this. Yeah, Kathy, we are installing in Western Mass. Looking Yay, Lennox Mass. Can I can I have your email again? Mm -hmm. Is your email what is your email again? Okay, dandelionenergy.com. Hold on. Yeah, it's it's D is in Doug. Then my last name Nyman at right, dandelionenergy.com. Yeah, at dandelionenergy.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm getting your number. I'm going to email you and give you my number, so maybe you can call me. You got it, Kathy. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much. Three zero six two three six eight. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy. Thank All right. Question from Bill. This is a great question here. Um, if there are three or four homes that are in proximity, is it more cost efficient to connect them together with one ground loop? It almost reminds me of like a solar farm of sorts. Yeah. You know, that's a really great question, and the an the short answer is yes. However, right now for Dandelion we are only installing individual ground loops for each individual residential dwelling. Um, we're still at a point in our company's history where everything we do is with the idea of scaling operations, right? So we're growing, we're still taking on investors, we're still doing everything we can to ensure that every business decision that we make is something that we could do uh, on a large scale. However, I do foresee a future state where Dan Lyon is installing a geothermal system for like entire neighborhoods, right? Working with a builder who's building 100 homes up on a hillside somewhere in the middle of Western New York. And we're going to put a couple of geothermal, you know, large ground loops that sort of travel to each individual home uh, to provide geothermal energy. There are such things as geothermal neighborhoods already that exist. Dan Lyon's just not doing it yet. What I will say is if you could get yourself and a cluster of neighbors involved, I could cer certainly personally work out a discount for all y'all. If you all signed a contract, like within the same month, uh, we could definitely work something out like that. More than the 500, Doug. <laughs> yeah, I think I feel pretty confident that if a homeowner came to me and said, me and my three or four neighbors all want geothermal, I could definitely give you more than a $500 discount for sure. Cool. 
All right, question from Dave. Um, and this might be one where you probably want to connect more on a personal level, but I, I think it, it could still be helpful. Or maybe you could send something to us so we could send it out through an email to everyone. Uh, but can you share a sample financial sheet with cost, rebates, et cetera, for a typical GT project? Say 220 square feet house. This is, uh, this is to understand if it is financially, this is uh, viable or not. Mm. Yeah, I think I can. Hang on one sec. I think I could do that. Do you have another question for me while I kind of sure. yeah. search for a good uh, a question? Good Actually, this is the last question in the, in the chat. This is from Chris. Do, uh, do you do secondary hot water systems, hot water heater replacement as opposed to radiant heat systems? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we offer one product for folks who want to switch over from like fossil fuel burning uh, a hot water heater to an electric system. So we offer an 80 gallon AO Smith uh, electric heat pump, hot water heater hybrid. So these units are, um, they are, uh, they run completely independently of the geothermal system, meaning you as a homeowner, all of you could install one of these in your home today, if you wanted to. Um, uh, we, we're, um, we have this unit because people are trying to get off of fossil fuels. We no longer install what's called um, a desuperheater. And a desuperheater is a, it's basically a buffer tank that captures excess heat that would otherwise be going back into the ground during the, re the refrigeration cycle. These um, desuperheaters, uh, they, my old VP of sales used to say the juice wasn't worth the squeeze, meaning the price to install them wasn't really helping offset the actual savings in hot water heat. So. Long, that was a really long answer. Long story short, okay? We do not install D superheaters. We do have a heat pump hot water heater option for you if you wanted to use us as a one-stop shop to make the switch to an electric uh, hot water heater. And we, um, our heat pumps are compatible with D superheaters if you wanted to hire um, a plumber to install one after we were done. So that, uh, that's the long story short there. So um, it's like all I have right now are Connecticut. I cannot find any of my New York business right now. Um, I'm trying to look for um, a financial sheet that I could share with you guys. Actually, let me see. If you could give me just one more minute. Sure. Here. Yeah, I think what you shared before was helpful too. Just noting that I think you said be between a HVAC and a, and a furnace, it's you're like $18,000 for a system like that. And maybe around twenty five for uh, for geothermal. So it's really the upfront cost isn't that much more. Plus you're looking at your uh, your incentives and then long term uh, cost. I, I think I, I just bought a house this literally just about a year ago at this point, and they told me my furnace only has about seven years left on it. Um, and I, I'm even thinking kind of like what Chris said that last question. Um, I might not need geothermal for my house. It actually doesn't have AC in it, um, but uh, there are options too, such as like a, what you said it was a, a super deheater, if you a, want to do a- D superheater. D yeah. super, okay, D superheater. So here's, a, here's an example of a home that needed one, uh, am I showing the right screen? Yeah. Um, so this is an example of a home that needed uh, one six-ton geothermal heat pump, right? They also had a uh, the hot water heater for thirty-nine seventy-five. They're a Central Hudson customer, so they're getting a thousand dollars off their price for the hot water heater, and this additional two hundred and fifty dollars off their price for the hot water heater um, for installing it at the same time as a geothermal system. That is coming from Central Hudson. And they're also eligible for $11,240 from Central Hudson off their list price. Dandelion applies for all of those on behalf of the customer. So this customer's cost before their tax credits is, let's call it 37 k Then the following year, they're getting a $5,000 state tax credit back from New York. And they're getting this $9,600 investment tax credit back from the federal government, right? So again, those two tax credits come back to them the following year after geothermal is installed. And so their net cost is $22,000. This financing option that they decided is actually one of our higher interest rates. So it's $184 a month. But this same project through one of our lower interest rate banking partners would probably be closer to $169 a month. 
So you figure this woman's going to be paying $22,000 net for her geothermal system. If she just upgraded her HVAC, it would probably be about 18 K. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for that, Doug. No problem. Um, and again, this is these variables, you know, central Hudson doesn't have as good of incentives as Con Ed and Long Island PSENG doesn't have as good of incentives as central Hudson, right? And the more heat pumps you add, the more expensive the project gets, but this is sort of a good generic outlook, but we've had projects that are as low as like, you know, $22,000 minus the tax credit coming in at around 18 K that's, that would be for like a thousand square foot, super easy project in Con Ed territory. I think also important to note, Doug, with, with, you know, you're looking at these prices, 22,000, 30, that, you know, all over the place. Um, but it's important to know as a homeowner that also is going into the value of the house. Like you said, you're looking at a hundred years for the actual system in the ground and 25 years for the, uh, for, for the, the, the geothermal processing system. I forgot the exact name of it, but this is value going right back into the house too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it raises your property value. A heat pump can provide anywhere from five to 8% property value to your house once you install it. And of course, if you're looking to sell your house in the next five, 10 years, Although you might not see that long-term ROI because you made that upfront investment, the reality is that if you're selling your house to a Gen X or a Gen Z or a millennial, these are people who want high efficiency. They want the monitoring. They want the super sexy heat pump that they can brag to their friends about, and they don't want big old oil tanks or propane tanks buried in their yard. Yeah, very true. Very, very true. All right. I'm not seeing any more questions in the chat. Once again, if, if you want to, uh, we'll wait a few more minutes. If you want to put any, any final questions into the chat, if you want to use the raise hand icon and ask away, uh, feel free, but it looks like we might be coming to, uh, to a completion here with this webinar. Doug, that was, a uh, honestly, one of the best presentations we've ever had. Oh, really got you. you did a fantastic well, job and whoever, I don't know if you made the deck too, but that deck was amazing. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that, Stephen. And I just want to take a moment to say, thank you all so much. Like, um, <clears throat> as Tesla owners, in particular, you folks are doing right by the planet. And so um, I appreciate you all. And, uh, and I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you, hopefully to see if we can make geothermal fit at your house. Thanks, Doug. All right, I guess it uh, looks like we can go ahead and come to a conclusion with this. Uh, appreciate Dandelion. Once again, uh, there is that $500 uh, incentive with the club alone. And maybe if you can convince some of your neighbors, we could even get, get that up a little bit. Uh, but Doug, once again, thank you so much for, for taking the time to, uh, to help educate us on geothermal energy. Appreciate it. My pleasure, Stephen. Thanks, guys.